He put his hand on my lap. He told me the gayest thing he ever told me. I wanna f you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you also have penis envy? Like him? This is your daily catch up. Okay, so in celebration of Father's Day, we're going to be hey. discussing why Woo. people don't care about Father's Day. <laughs> yes, Daddy. Or rather, why <laughs> is there any like a greater importance on Mother's Day than Father's Day? It's true. No, it's true. Mm. People don't care about Father's Day. Huh? So there's several theories, lah. You anyone want to hazard a guess? Why? Because mm. mothers are better. There are more wow. mothers than fathers because fathers can bounce. Moms can abandon. Can. Women's got no right, so they use a consolation prize by creating a holiday for them. Through emotional blackmail. Mm. Mm. Sounds like men. Perhaps, perhaps. <laughs> you, you mean you know why? He's about There's to tell an you. answer. F off. I mean, how can there be a proper answer to this? There are several theories la, based on an article on right. cmmb.org and it's .org, so you know that they are probably legit. Confirm. Because the father <laughs> Coffee uh, means too means busy bagels. working, cannot celebrate. What it's like a Valentine's version of it because they know that mothers will want gifts, then it will cost them to have more money. Mm, but it's or, a commercialized event. La, huh? Or do women express their appreciation better than men? So therefore you feel... Um, Happier when you give, when to you a give woman. them. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so let's go through some of the theories. La, right? So the <laughs> first one, right, based on this article, is that it's the marketers. La, because both like profit and non-profit organizations, what they do is that they start the, the marketing campaign for Mother's Day, right? much earlier. There's nothing like in between before it, you know. But then Father's Day is one month right after Mother's Day, right? No no time gap. So you everyone- didn't plan this out properly. Everyone didn't like, can, cannot remember, eh, oh yeah, Father's Day, not enough lead time to go, wow, I need to plan for like Father's Day. Right. And so also, it's not our fault that we always land for the mom's Mother's Day present, but then not for the- But chicken yeah. and egg, if people don't care, then they won't market. Ah. Because at the end of the day, we all rely on like visual cues, right? So if yeah, there's like make posters about, hey, Mother's Day, Mother's Day, Mother's Day, Mother's like Day. Remi yeah, reminders. Yeah, reminder. Well, yeah. So you think they can make us care about Father's Day? Confirm can. Then why don't they do it? It's just more money. What? Why don't they just call it Parents' Day and then celebrate both together? Why yeah. do we even celebrate parents? <laughs> so that people can sell stuff on more days. Have your parents ever celebrate Children's Day for you? Never. I still never. I'm not a child. Oh, I love children. Wait, celebrate and just <laughs> buy me <laughs> a present, right? Yeah. I thought Children's Day is just Or just school. greet you lah. Huh? Like bring out to dinner. I mean, they, they supply your dinners anyway, uh -huh. correct? But over dinner, they say happy Children's no, Day. No, if I wanted something, uh. then I need to make up an excuse that I have Children's Day. Uh. Then, yeah. Then I, if it's not too expensive, then approve. Oh, Isn't I, every day the child's day? <laughs> the child always gets what they want, right? No. Not no. my family. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I just feel a bit too much about myself. But yeah, so like this marketing thing, right? Actually quite a uh, big factor because in the United States, right, in the US, people paid $186 for Mother's Day on average, right, but only about $130 for Father's Day. So like about $50 more on average on Mother's Day gifts. Okay la, why you complain? Theory two. <laughs> we think that our mom deserves thoughtful gifts because like mothers are identified as like being the biggest contributors at home in terms of like emotional nurturing. See, it's all about lack of women's rights. Yeah. And so that's why people feel like, oh, they are worthy of more attention. So it's like if you are not nice to someone and then you feel like you need to make up for it by buying them gifts. Exactly that. Guilt. It's really out of our guilt. We yeah. will we will Rock be you. back. Oh. We will regain balance and order. Man. There's no we, there's no we. <laughs> <laughs> You're on your own. No year. fair what? Why like that? Should be like that. No, it was already like, like that to most begin with. Really, now uh. it's like that. Like what? Like uh power in the household? Yeah. No, like we the don't. Boardroom. No, we don't. <laughs> like oh. the best jobs. You think you own your house, man? Oh, yes, sure. yes, I do own my house. If you got any problem, you cannot divorce. The girl always has to stay in the house. You have like the guy always has to move out. No, it's because the guy is the right? one that cheats, so no. they get chased out. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? I think even the other way around. Yeah. There was this joke about how like if you think really think you own your house, right? You go home and you take a picture of your mom and you hang it on the wall in your bedroom. <laughs> you see you there. <laughs> see you there, can not? But just if your wife take a picture your of wife will her. Take it down. That and then put it in your room, then you cannot say anything. Assuming that it's Mother's Day and you have a wife and a kid, right? Is your priority to like make it a day about your mum or your wife? Oof. Wait, what? <laughs> if your you're married with a kid and it's Mother's Day, is your priority to make it a great day for your own mum or for your wife? Because probably both of them are mom, wife. La. wife on actual day, then mother earlier. But your wife is not your mum. But your wife is your child's but your, mom. But your child is incapable of Get throwing your... a celebration for a mother. Wa. So yeah. you calculate the number so of- So you are teaching your child how to celebrate your mother. That's by your showing him how theory. you celebrate your mother. On a different day. <laughs> 
So you do the demo first, then the actual day you bring the wife. Uh. <laughs> mm. But your mom won't like jealous day, like on the day itself, so, like you celebrate. I don't know whether it wife. breaks her heart. Uh, yeah, I feel my like as giving, grows guys, up, my mom's solid and potent. Yeah. Wait, I don't get. I really don't get it. How do people celebrate their partners? There's no wife's day, like ma, or on Mother's Day. day. There's Valentine's Day, everyone. But then it's no like Valentine's together. Day. Seem to be the guys celebrate the girl though. Yeah. yeah la, that's so wife's wow, day. Another but then, then we will we'll get our day. revenge. <laughs> <laughs> so like to bring this back on Father's Day, right? Like, would you expect your wife to like celebrate you? If you have a kid, like if your father, like. call me daddy. I would think so. Because <laughs> it's every day. on the guys of teaching our children how to appreciate yeah. their fathers, ma. So the guys. Just relax, don't do anything in the house. We get a. <laughs> what? Oh, what? what? Okay, like what? a beer. Then ah, okay. uh, <laughs> your daughter go end up working at Hooters. <laughs> <laughs> get your man a beer. Hey, what's your yes, problem sir. with Hooters? They are a respectable place. Nothing, that seems like the appropriate you know, place the to wings. end up if you want to. <laughs> the chicken wings at Hooters are very decent. Uh, nah. Very, very decent. Some Everybody wings, hyped it, it up like mad, right? They hype up the girl that I go there, I see. Yeah, the wings weren't great, <laughs> <laughs> and the other things also weren't great. Still surviving, it's still around. Yeah, but it's them disgusting. Is Singapore still have or Clucky, right? Wait, who thought it was Singapore thing? No, no, no. no, no there no, was all in Singapore. Was, yeah, I went. I went yeah, for yeah. hookers. <laughs> Sure, that's your excuse. But anyway, yeah. he can't enter anyway. Let's take a look. Two hours too early then. <laughs> Hooters is still in Clark Key. Okay. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You all want to go tonight? Yeah, yeah. I mean, boss asked. What's yeah. If my boss insists. Yeah, that's right, that's right. You know what's the appeal of Hooters? Hey, hello. If you're not yet subscribed to the Daily Catch Up podcast, Subscribe and ask your father to subscribe also. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the combo. <laughs> one for the price of two. Eh? Two for the price of one. The chicken wings. Boobies. Yeah, like the waitresses are dressed in like very skimpy, like two sizes, too small, like mm, yeah. uh, shorts and tops. The girls are supposed to be like, wow, right? Yeah. No. I mean, in America. La. The concept. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to skim through the, 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 the next four theories. Theory mm-hmm. three is that Mother's Day was recognized first, at least in the US. And I guess that's where we get all our like shopping holidays, right? Okay. Father's Day was only recognized 60 years or almost 60 years after Mother's Day. I got a theory on that. Because mm. when the mothers do a lot of things, right? Especially in US culture, where the men really come back and watch TV, right? Mm. They decided that it's okay we will create one day where we will honor her. Exactly. And then 364 days, we live like kings. Mm. And then Father's Day came about when the conversation of equality came about. Which men don't care about. So you think men don't care about Father's Day? Men don't care about equality. Men don't care about equality. What you mean? It sounds to me like, right? okay, <laughs> your perspective. Come on, equ- my perspective, equality is a step down for men. My, b- true. But my perspective is that it took us 60 years to fight for our rights, you know, for a bit of equality. And even today, <laughs> even now, it is still not equal. How sad is that? Yeah, dude, it's not equal yeah, because yeah. we have everything, dude. Yeah. <laughs> we talk way more than 300 years. I know something we still don't have. I bet, for I bet when yeah, the conversation about equality, right, <laughs> men keep bringing up Mother's Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, yeah, the, yeah. then the families will be like, you know what, let's make Father's Day, yo. Oh. Yeah, let's shut the f*** up about Give everything. You yeah. <laughs> then conversation <laughs> over. But purposely one month after so you don't get anything. Correct. Uh, theory four, and this is the last one because the rest are just like, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's about the same. Dads are just less interested in gifts. So. I'm, I'm sure it's always the same thing, right? Golf ball, pen, tie. Oh, oh, your father ball? Really, like, your father sounds like a rich businessman. <laughs> no lah, it's just... My father want to eat. Oh, my father. yeah, fair enough. Isn't fair the enough. meal expected, but then there is the gift that, that is, is optional. The, yeah, yeah. That's, mm. the, the meal is not really the present, right? My dad would ask for things way in advance. That's nice. So it's like a wish list. So he's I don't know the how to Mother's feel Day about marketing. That. No, but it's it's like it's very obscure things, and he's like a child in that sense. I mean, that in an enduring way. His attention span is too short for the things he wants. Mm. Yeah, he wants me to order this thing from US uh, or some weight loss pill uh, <laughs> or something he can stand on because like like he watched a documentary in China and then what <laughs> helps you lose weight, some blood flow, or he wants like wait, that's the old the soda pop. No, 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 it's just this plastic thing that's just like so you bought all of these things. No. Oh. Some of which he bought himself. Some oh, of which nice. I bought. Some of which my right, sisters right, bought. Right, right. No, such an interesting guy. Like there's so many random. Yeah, but he doesn't care about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but it doesn't matter. That's not the point. Whether he uses it or not, it's not the point. No, but if it's three hundred bucks though, three hundred bucks because for if your you, dad, like no. you are working adult, if your dad asks you for something, you will buy. But it sounds mm. like the product he asking for is like can buy on Alibaba. <laughs> like yes, most yeah. most can. Three dollars. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he buys. <laughs> he falls for every. <laughs> 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 He bought this LV bag that he was cocksure is real. Ew. And he wanted to buy for my mom. Then you light it on fire. 
to show that it's it not. Was, <laughs> it was, yeah. well, the box is not even. Uh, <laughs> it's so the LV logo is off center. It's, 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 <laughs> it's so bad. Eh. It's not. And even if it were real, it's a fucking ugly bag. <laughs> oh, no. But yeah. he happy? Oh. Huh? He happy? No, because my mom got pissed off immediately because my oh. mom don't seek branded goods, right? No, that's why he buy this one. No, because <laughs> it's fake, but it's. It, it's, it's still yeah, about 200 bucks. Yeah, yeah. He's just yeah. very trusting, la, right? 200 like, bucks. Right? Yeah. No, he's, he's very trusting of strangers. And WWE. Your family. What's his number? Can tell him. <laughs> it's fake. He won't believe his family. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, he believes the stranger on TikTok. If or I, like yeah. Facebook ads or YouTube pre rolls. He believes them more than really? his children. One. Uh, right, right. So, in like looking up like the topic, right? Like, have you seen Quora? Like you can get like the, the recommended or like similar mm. topics, right? There are so many people saying that they have trouble communicating or speaking with their dads. Like it's just question like how how can I talk to my dad more emotionally and stuff like that? Like, do you guys have weird or like unemotional relationships with your dad? Because like your mom tends to be the one that's a bit more emotional, right? Mm. I feel like it took me quite a long time to actually communicate with my parents. But it was like a Suddenly this next day, right? I'm like, I look at them and then like, I feel like I'm a bit more of an adult now. And then I look at them like, hey, you're also fellow human beings. You're not just parents. Mm. Then let me talk to you. And then yeah. let's talk. And then suddenly with, with that switch, right? We started to like communicate a bit better. La. Yeah. But it was really- You kind of understand that the pains that they go through also. Mm. Yeah. It's like you suddenly need to humanize your parents. Mm. Like what a strange process. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think often like with our parents, we over, we often think like, hey, how come they are like this? Like maybe they talk to us in a certain way, like a certain day, right? But we forget that they are going through their own shit also. Like if we are going through our own shit yeah. as adults, right? Imagine all the shit that they Yo, are Yo, I tell you, last time my mom very putting on there, she would like, when she cleaned the house, right? This is the thing also, Kai Sien. Her cleaning standards are very impossible one. Like the floor, like you mop the floor, right? One plunger, only like four to eight tops max. Huh? After that, you must go and plunge again. Like for me, right, I one plunge, I can do half the house. And it's only half the house because I'm like, okay, like, dip it once, like, you took so long filling up that fucking pill, right? Yeah. But so she has impossible standards. So even you clean, you try your little best, right? It's not good enough for her. She will inspect the thing like a, like a ah. sergeant like that. Yeah, so whenever she tell you to clean the house, you clean the house, not well done. Then she will clean the house, Yeah. right? And then she will do it in a very disgruntled manner, like, like she mopped the floor between the bed and the window. She gong, 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 while you lie on the bed watching TV. So it's like maximum triple guilt, right? And so when she tried and guilt trip us her children, right? While we were young, la, we just really take it off. Mom, come on, I do it. La. Just let me do it. You just tell me which part not clean enough. Then I clean. <laughs> but you know, she's never hand you the fucking. Yeah, <laughs> she know you never hand you the fucking mop, right? My dad is like, if you want so clean, you keep quiet and clean yourself. You don't count big up. That was why I clean properly. I'm like, oh my god, what a boss and what an asshole to be married to. <laughs> Wait, then what about you, eh? your dad? I think I, I hear, we hear a lot about your mom, but not that much about your yeah. dad. Yeah. yeah. For a while, I thought you had a single parent child. Oh. Yeah. I think because like I spend way more time with my mom at home. I mean, like last time, right? So then I just have more conflict with her. But then my dad growing up was like the fun uncle because he really huh. he worked every but day. But also like, very detached. Like nine a.m. to like nine ten p.m. Last time we used to have our own like spectacle <laughs> shop. Yeah. yeah. So the only time he have off days is Chinese New Year. Like aside from that, he don't take a single off day one. Yeah, lot then whenever Chinese day, we get to go and play with him, that kind of thing. Or when we were younger, I think before he took over the shop, then he like worked for his dad, so he got more off days. Then he's like go zoo, all this kind of stuff. So it feels like we have fun with him. Then after that, my mom is the nagging disciplinarian. Right. Oh yeah. no, bad cop. But, but then with yeah, that, right? Cop. Do you feel like he was absent? Mm. And I think it was something that he himself like realized. So it was only when like we lost the shop, right? That. There was just one day where like we were walking to lunch together, right? He asked me to help him like apply job and all that. Then he, he, uh, he said like he want to write that like uh, the reason for why he decided to close his shop lah cause need to buff up your resume or that. Yeah. He doesn't even have a resume cause for the, yeah. his whole life he worked at the same place. Yeah, then after that he said like he want me to help him write that like because he missed out time with us, right, like his kids when we were young. So now that he's growing old, he wants to have more time to spend with his kids. That's why he want to apply to this company because every week or two of this. Right. Yeah, so then I think like that was like a moment like of in a sense like clarity for me that I didn't realize no, but he's that just he, using it, to it get was a something job, he eh? felt bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he genuinely feels like that. Now he keeps trying to ask me to go eat brunch with him. Oh. Yeah. I didn't even know he know brunch exists. Yeah. Then <laughs> <laughs> like my dad's like, fine, my children don't have lunch with me yes, yeah. brunch. <laughs> Maybe he asks his like his colleagues or his friends, like, hey, what to do with your kid? Ah? Brunch. That's the <laughs> secret. Yes, yeah. How you spell that again? 
<laughs> BRA. <laughs> <laughs> then he watching Sex in the City. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, a very cemented thing to say. Sorry. So then only <laughs> from like from that time, I remember very clearly from that time where we walked to have lunch. Then after that, then I feel like he started like opening up more. Like he mm. will share like more of his thoughts with me. Lah. Then I think like some stuff like he might find a bit difficult to talk to my mom about. Or he know how my mom will react. Like he just want to be heard, you know, in a sense. Yeah, but yeah. my yeah, my mom will like nag him kind la. Then So you're his best friend. So Aww. if no, I don't think no. so. Okay, okay, okay. okay. But, but you said you're like, you're not yeah, father. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 because like this is actually very common and very dangerous. Um a lot of children fall into the position of becoming the picking sites. Huh? Not about picking sites, but the parents will 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 bear out all their issues with the other partner onto the child. Right. Yeah. No, like, I think he doesn't talk about, he talked about like his own, like what he's thinking about. So then like, it felt like I was in a sense, have matured to the age where he can finally talk to me. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. yeah, like before that, it felt like he, he cannot Bu- say Bu- to Bu- me. Gaga, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's like planning an anniversary party that he forgot about. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think I saved their marriage like twice. Yeah. Uh. yeah. So my, my mom will be very angry about it. Then she will come and tell me, then she will say, but don't tell that. Then right. I will, straight message him then right. after that then I'll help him plan then that night then my mother go toilet and bathe then he go and use the $50 note to make a heart shape on the bed <laughs> <laughs> then after she, she could have been any shape right <laughs> money is the root to <laughs> anyone's yeah. heart you yeah. could have been stapled together over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then he's just standing when she come out <laughs> yeah, like, I, I do think that it was a lot harder to talk to my dad. I just didn't know that my dad had such thoughts. Right. Like, when I was growing up, I just always felt like he was the more like, not say happy-go-lucky, but he, I didn't know he was such a brooding man. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> During my parents' anniversary, right, I literally have to tell my father to plan something. Like, their anniversary day themselves don't even celebrate each other. It's the children that will celebrate their yeah, anniversary. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. we have to book a bloody restaurant. And then I was like, you want flowers? I order for flowers. No need. Don't, 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 don't. They don't want anything. They, they don't want to show affection like that. Actually, they don't care. Right? They're like, hey, these kids are... They're going no, to but they will tell us our anniversary next week. Oh. <laughs> but your parents will go huh? tour together. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think for me, like my parents were very like quite clear-cut. So like my mom would be the one that gave me like personality advice. Like I remember two lessons until today that my mom probably told me <laughs> yeah, when I was I like hear, six or I seven. Right? This. So like the first one was... um. Like always treat others the way that you want to be treated, and it's something that I've I've always mm. like uh, tuned to. But the second one was actually quite controversial. It gotten me in trouble a lot of times, which is that whenever you believe it's right and you are so convinced that you are right, right, that's when you fight for yourself. But like with my dad, it's always been practical, like real world um advice, like career finance. He's the one that taught me how to train stocks, invest, that kind of thing. So it's like that was kind of like the that distinction. That is so solid, you know, that your parents can teach you how to invest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's insane. Yeah, because because it seems like. No, that's, that's not even about being a parent, that's about being like pro- potentially like a life mentor also. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It's funny how like, like based on everything we've been mentioning, right, we keep bringing up the mom even though we just talk about the dad, you know? Yeah, that's true. I mean, okay, sorry, back, but back to yours, right? Like, since then, right, do you feel like you are now closer to your dad or do you still think you're closer to your mom? I don't think I've been, I've ever been close to either of them. Yeah, like, but closer. Uh, Relatively, I think I've always thought of myself as closer to my dad, lah. Like, if I had to choose, right. it, it just felt like because my like I said, my mom is a disciplinarian, and it's just harder to relate to her. But yeah. that's how, that's so shag, right? Because like parents and and no no judgment at all, but like most parents will actually discuss and like be like, okay, who's the bad cop, who's the good cop? And yeah, then the no, I know my mom is the bad bad cop, so yeah. it's like. <laughs> Not but the back you know. But it's like for example when we were younger we grew up, right? Then she's the always the one that were cane. <laughs> but I know that there are there have been moments where my dad was super angry and wanted to cane, right? But my mom will stop him. Like so my mom will say, take- You cannot. Wow. Yeah. So I mean she wow. won't. That's, that's, that's movie, that's yeah. movie yeah. sacrifice. She level, snip yeah. like Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Which is like, so actually <laughs> yeah. in my job interview, right? Like John actually asked me like what is something that I learned from both my mom and my dad, like one thing each, right? And then like what I said about my mom was quite similar to the second thing that your parents, your mom or your dad taught you, which is that I feel like my mom like knows what is right. And then she's not afraid to have to play the bad guy to get there because she loves my family. Mm. Oh yeah. my God. That's, that's how I got hired. Yeah. Max <laughs> respect for your mom. Wow. Also John forgot, he needed to be reminded. <laughs> <laughs> no, I forgot the answer, yeah. but I always ask this question. Huh? So according to my- <laughs> Sam- No, I did. I think you, you told me you were not close to your parents. Uh, mm. did, yeah. did I? So you asked that to a lot of candidates. Huh? Yeah. Because oh, I feel like I'm gonna read it. No, if if I feel like if your family unit is strong, you can take stress. Right. You will want to do your family proud. Mm. That's a good point. Because there's people that we've hired, right? That just want to do the bare minimum, or there are people that apply 
they just want to do their job and like no motivation to do greater you know so to the point whereby when you tell them do you interested in management roles right they actually say no then it's like oh very hard to incentivize you must hit you. your mom eh? yeah <laughs> <laughs> incentivize someone like, hey, why it could yeah. be the dad huh? so it's always the mom's fault unlikely lah because <laughs> the dad is in a management position oh <laughs> maybe maybe bring this back to father's day there were several studies right <laughs> oh, actually, you keep bringing it back to father's day hey happy father's day by the way by the way and happy belated mother's day one month ago we didn't even do a mother's day app though hey, interesting so equality see, yeah, because okay, we are trying to bring the balance back we right. <laughs> so we ran out of things to talk about <laughs> Okay. Apparently, according to studies, right, it shows that children with involved, like involved fathers or like uh, stepfathers or father figures, right, are less likely to do certain like things or like I will end up better off. So, for example, right, children with involved fathers, father figures, and or stepfathers are less likely to get into trouble with the law, less likely to be criminals, likely to delay sex. Debatable nah. whether that's good or bad. Uh, they tend to be better at you mean school. without my dad, I would have done that. Yes, yeah. <laughs> without your no, no, wait, wait, sorry, sorry. Let me get this straight. Without your dad, without a father figure, you will f- earlier. Mm. You tend to. Right. Cannot generalize. Um, so John Paul thinking that's how he started at ten. Why I, my father figure so strong? Eh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, other things include like you, you you tend to do better in school with a father figure. Uh, more likely to hold on to a job and less likely to gender stereotype. But what if your father is a <laughs> sexist? No, if you Maybe reverse engineer this completely, you can figure out who no father. Wait, what? <laughs> Right. Okay. This study was in the US. Okay, but like, well, then yeah. I have a lot of father. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Many, many daddies. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the article did note that it is not important for Uncles the. Of fun. <laughs> it's not important for the father figure to actually be a male uh, it actually will still work if there's right. two moms it's just that one of them takes on the role of like of a father in but that sense but how to la. be father the difference is that um, so they said mothers <laughs> tend to use social and emotional consequences in disciplining the kids fathers focus on how the child fits into the real world warning that you know friends or jobs are at stake if you continue bad behaviour for example so mother must say you really disappoint me yeah manipulate yeah. with emotion mm. it's true though yeah Dad, or like fathers would be like, you've been a bad boy. Like the ultimate punishment <laughs> for me is if the teacher calls my mom. Yeah. Oh. Not not if she beats me or or even not if my mom beats me. Because when my mom beat me, right, she does this thing that's damn sneaky. As she beat me, right, she she's cried. crying. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's, worse. Worse. That? that's worse. Last time meet the parents is the scariest. I always, yeah. I always pray my father is the one that goes. I see my sisters go meet the parents. They just fucking walk <laughs> in. Hey. Uh, Mrs. So and so, this is my mom. Then they have a good time. So. <laughs> <laughs> Why is life pretty like shit? Yeah. Like, like a day. couple months out, the teacher start start like taunting me. Yeah, me the parents so I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That period you had to be extra quiet. Right? You yeah, suck yeah, up to the teacher be. a bit also. Right? You, I never get out of it proper one, eh. until my like sec four, sec five. Then I finally get a good reviews. Eh. Before that, always gonna. <laughs> I me mean, the parents is. is Mind bending. <laughs> it's damn bastard. You, you know think they mean it like parents, like when they cry, when they like, it hurts oh. me to hurt you, kind of thing. Like, you think uh. it's legit? Or is it like when you're in a fight with your with your girlfriend or boyfriend, you just want to poke at your child? Uh. Just want to make them no feel la, the them guilt. Hearts, uh, I mean, they didn't too. Uh. <laughs> Calm down. Because, like, you know how some people can be like pissed off at a kid? Yeah. It's the same, ma. Uh, like, even though you like the person. Or no, the I, toxic I think parenting. it's at what extent then they beat you. Right, no, right, but maybe right. the hurts them part is a different meaning. So it's not like heart wrenching, but mm. it's like I have yeah. failed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Or, or it's not so much that you are so naughty, I cry. No, but that's something that as but a parent. I'm so angry until <clears throat> I cry. Yeah, but that's something that as a parent, you shouldn't show the emotion. You should take it back to when you are when your child is asleep, you're in the bedroom, and then with your partner, and then you. Oh no, shit, I'm not kidding. No, um, no, now no, we're no, into no, showing emotions. Like you, yeah, yeah, to your partner, not to your child. But you want to normalize that to your child also, that it's okay to feel disappointed. You see, you see all these words that we don't use a few years ago? Normalize, normalize. emotions. To shut the f*** up, everybody. <laughs> do your sister yeah. care about Father's Day more than you? <laughs> and do you care about Mother's Day more than your sister? No, I feel like my sister cares the most, but to be fair, she she's just very caring and you're not. She dead. lives with my, fa- with my parents, I right. don't. So she like, has the daily reminder. But, and I'm sorry, mom, if you're watching, but like every year, right, my sister will be the one that buys the gift and then says, hey, do you want to share it? I'll just say it's from both of us. Oh, that's Actually, so nice. Actually, mine as well. Yeah. She always does that for every, every gift. That's why you should have daughters. I think we briefly brought this up earlier, right? But I just want to know like your own personal experiences, right? Like one of the most searched 
things on Reddit when it comes to fathers and eh, is that people have difficulty having conversations with their father ma. Was there that for you all or was it always easy talking to your dad? I remember like if I had any trouble in school, like if I could not bully it or like girl don't like me or like all these like different things. I always felt like the go-to person to talk to was my mom. Ah. Mm. My dad was always for like serious stuff, at least like growing up. So yeah. He asked for fathers only No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I guess, I guess in terms of again. that. Yeah, sorry. I probably didn't have that many conversations with my dad until I was older. And right. I guess having adult conversations with him in that sense. Like I would I pick and choose what things to share with my mom or dad. Right. What's like the He's a bit more hands off. So like school stuff like later like, you sign a report book, it was pretty shit. I was just I was passed to him. Mm. Yeah. If if I did well, rarely the case, then I passed to my mom. Mm. Yeah. Cause like he won't give me that much shit because he doesn't show that he cared that much. Maybe he does, like, I don't know. I was not very close to him, except when we are playing. My mom just get angry at me, right? My dad don't need time to pick up context to join in one. Right. Yeah, he, he just like, oh, he sends the room, he starts going, he going, he like, yeah. go you in. Know, you, know, what was that? <laughs> you saving it for this? Uh? No, no, but uh, you just mentioned like, until recently, you don't know whether he care or not. You know what I mean? About my grades specifically. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, right. Like he cares about what kind of man I'll be. So mm. actually it was quite interesting when you brought up that the father figure cares about my integration into society. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Was there like a, a very difficult question, uh, a difficult conversation you had to have with your father before? Uh, no, but I remember the one of the turning points in my relationship with my dad, right, was when I broke up with my first girlfriend. When we broke up, right, I remember not wanting to talk to anybody about it. Because to them, it's puppy love, and I know it. In the grand scheme of things, I'm going to live another 50, 60 years. And then it's just puppy love for everybody had their first relationship that didn't work out. But to me, at that point of the time, right, wow, that was like my wife. My future wife that has gotten away, I missed out on this on this catch of a wife, right? Mm-hmm. And then I remember that we drove past some ex girlfriend house. He put his hand on my lap. He knew that he didn't need to say anything. Mm-hmm. Like he knows that it's awkward conversation to have. Mm-hmm. And then after that, he told me, he told me the gayest thing he ever told me. I wanna f you. <laughs> <laughs> With his hand on your lap. <laughs> but understand my dad doesn't compliment me one. Because uh. there's not much to compliment. Hey. And he says, no, no, back then really was jala. Like, it's especially beside my sister. Like, when they worship my sisters, right? I look at my sisters, right? I'm like, correct. <laughs> like, why would you not like that shit? You know what I mean? He told me this thing, which which I know it probably killed him to say. He said, my attractiveness, ah, he's, so, he's commenting on his son's looks now. Ah, it's like taping hui like that. You see that time, you won't think why he's damn handsome. But as you keep looking, you think actually he's quite handsome. <laughs> I, remember, I remember this conversation my dad had with me at 15, 16 years old. It's like, it's the first time, right? My dad put esteem into me. Oh. To my memory, because oh, thank God. I have yeah, yeah. esteem. Yeah, no, I have, yeah, wait, yeah. don't make it weird. It's my <laughs> memory, my dad, eh. Because I have many memories. Perhaps I filter the good ones, right, to his yeah, credit. Yeah, yeah. But I have memories of him lowering my esteem and confidence. Uh. Right. But that was that one time, and the only time I remember after like accomplishment in adulthood, like, as a teenager and below, right, where he put some esteem into my head, and then he also told me that I'll get your gym membership. So after school, you just go to the gym. Wow, super freaky moment, okay? But 15, 16, I also saw Tae Ping Hui at, was him, at Bishan him. walking around, but he was- <laughs> Junction 8, right, at Brad Talk? Ah, but he was, <laughs> nah, nah. Tae Ping Hui, injured, one leg. Soccer. Then at that moment, right, my esteem also boosted because I thought, wow, heroes can be hurt too. <laughs> That's the Wait, cheesiest think thing you ever said. No, I didn't know I'm your hero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking gross. It's called uh, his gym membership, then he. <laughs> but that was that feeling, that was that turning point in the membership, mm. my dad and I. And also, at that point of time, I started studying a bit more. Like, my grades look good from 15 onward. Then, like, I'm not so afraid to share right. my life with him. Mm. Yeah. I, I realized, I think my dad instilled, like, a sense of competitiveness in me. And I think I, I've never realized and I never credited him for it until. Now, actually thinking of something to say, right? Like to that question. Because <laughs> you're trying to one up him. Uh. No, no, no. Not, <laughs> not, not, not. I, I felt like my earlier response didn't, didn't do justice. Right, right, la. Right. Like, I remember him like teaching me like Scrabble and Risk and Lord, like, and mean. like, uh, no, there's this <laughs> game by Robert Kiyosaki, uh, Cash Flow. And it's really just about how to become financially independent. You had the rich debt, you know, right? I had the poor debt. There's also a really fun game called Dividends. Anyway, yeah, continue. Yeah, no, the but it's crazy because the game, right, is, is a bit like Monopoly, but actually useful in life because you buy assets and then you basically take down what are your assets, what are your liabilities. And you bought it for me when I was like nine. And so I was taught about assets and liabilities. And then we were learning that and then we played Scrabble because he would teach me spelling and English and that kind of thing. And then I was damn competitive from that moment. He Mr. Miyagi me, la. 
Like there was okay. a lot of indirect <laughs> just realizing life that. lessons <laughs> that he taught me. Ah, things that. No, so what I realized, right, having after I just shared that story, right, that I think there's your dad, like my dad was probably my first bro, but you had to grow up first. When I had my first breakup, right, my mom or my sisters, when they try and console me, they tell me shit like, ah, there are so many other girls. You know, but that's not it, because that's not, that's not where you were at that point of time. You are getting over the heartbreak, not the fear that you'll be single forever. Yep. But my dad got it. Okay. I do agree with like, that like you have to mature first and grow up. So like, in the, my last few years, I mean, in the past few years of my life, not <laughs> my last few years. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, in the past few years of my life, I feel like I've been closest to my dad than I've ever been. La. Even though when we were younger, we, I think we spent a lot more time together. And it's purely just because I understand him more. Right. Yeah. Mm. But I think like, I mean, if people like, just now you mentioned, right, like people are finding it hard to like, strike conversations with their dad. I think like the key is really that just like, do things together. Then naturally, right, eventually you'll get comfortable with that and then you'll start having conversations. So recently, like, I have like two controllers like lying at home from like COVID period, right? <laughs> then I started like downloading games to play again. Like moving out, right? Very boring to play alone. <laughs> so yeah, then yeah. like overcook, I can play alone because I can play both chefs. Wow. But then moving out, I have to eee, be alone. I have the whole to story <laughs> set up just for to show <laughs> off. Yeah, yeah. 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 Once I move, then there's no, like the fun is in having to coordinate with the other person, yeah. I feel. So then I asked my dad to play. Then after recently, I started watching soccer again also. So then we just have a lot more common topics to talk about. Firstly, less awkward when we are like just one on one together oh. and then secondly there's just more opportunities in the first place for us to be talking mm. like it takes at least one party to be willing because I think if you grow a strange mm. and then distant and then no one's willing to like budge first right I yeah, think no. very hard I don't think it's like as strange as strange I think a lot of times right it's just they, nobody put in the effort to go and build that relationship yeah. yeah yeah. like I think for me personally something that I use that I, I think is quite useful is I like to ask like this can be parents, this can be like relatives, can be whoever, like, right? But I like to ask them like back in their day, like what was their childhood like? Kind of thing. Like even my grandmother, like just listening to her whole life story, right? And I and I need pick like exactly that year, that year, that year, like what was that? What was your life? What happened? Like major events. Mm. I find out like she almost drowned. I find out like also interesting, like crazy fucking stories you never hear before. Nah. And like it's so interesting. And there's so much to learn, there's so many questions. And then once they reach like your age, that period, right? Wow. Then you will discover so many things that you can relate to also. And then mm. I think that was one of the key things that also helped me to like humanize them even more. To know that they are like, <laughs> they, are su- they are real people with like yeah. the same problems and they also don't have life kind of yeah. like figured out. So we often know like how like, we always say like, oh, girls maybe got daddy issues, right? But yeah. do you know that guys oh, yeah. that also- how would you say a girl got daddy issues? Like, what, what must she do? If the father abandoned them and then be, they become no, no, a prostitute. What, what is her? <laughs> no, that's a bit extreme. Like older, much older men. Mm. That's daddy Ooh. issues, man. Who is look like they're dead. Oh, I see, I see. The I see. last part sounds to, to make like up for the lack of love that they got from their fathers. <laughs> oh, that's how you'd say a girl has daddy issues. Got it. Yeah, one, one well, of how, the how many issues. How have you been using this phrase? I don't. I no, don't but it trades very closely to, to, to the, the, the Oedipus complex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah which What's is that? that so there's this guy called Sigmund Freud, who's like a psycho Mr. Analyst. What the heck? Uh-huh. Freud lah, basically. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So he came up with this complex where his theory is that if you're male, then what you want to do is you want to end up finding somebody that is very similar to your mom. Yeah. yeah and then the other way around, uh, and the other way around, if you are a girl, then you want a partner that is like your dad. Which is why mommy, mommy's boy, daddy's girl. Yeah. It's really a common yeah. phrase. But in a very extreme and sexual way. Yeah. yeah. So it's called the Oedipus, uh, the Oedipus complex. Uh, and then there's also a girl version called the Electra complex, but it's widely known. <laughs> <laughs> Not in a dick complex, right? <laughs> Oedipus Electra, Oedipus. <laughs> Electra complex and it's apparently based on um, Carl Jung's penis envy oh what penis envy mm. hey, shut up like you know what's penis envy no 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 I studied all this in uni yeah. it's, it's crazy yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So studied penis envy in uni let me just read this out because <laughs> yeah. it's, it's mind boggling right? <laughs> the girl desires the father but realises that she does not have a penis this leads to the development of penis envy and wishes to be a boy the girl resolves this by repressing her desire for her father and substituting the wish for a penis for a wish for a baby. The girl then blames the mother for the castrated state that she's in and this creates great tension. P- 
penis and Wait, how did we jump to baby? We were burn. Because we're just like exploring daddy issues, right? And the Oedipus complex. So it's like, like why why do girls not like their mums? Is it is that what this is trying and, to explain? And why are like guys jealous of their dads? Like, like in inherently. Sigmund Freud might have written some of Ryan Higa's videos. <laughs> <laughs> no. So according to this theory, girls don't have a great relationship with their mum as compared to their dad because they are deep down, they have a repressed one for a hatred dick. Uh. that the mum didn't give them a dick. Mm-hmm. And and some symptoms of this, right, is yes. that you become overly <laughs> attached to one parent, you become fixated. How they come out of this shit now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? We should try one. We should try to get any help coming out there. So, I mean, there, there were just certain signs to identify whether someone has the Oedipus complex, right? So, like, you become overly attached to one parent, you're fixated. Isn't that dick envy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But these are just signs to see whether, like, hey, you, you're afraid. Hey, I think you got. Okay, okay you got wait, let me pull up my okay. checklist, you say. So, you become uh, overly attached to one parent parent, you're fixated on them, you might be hostile towards the other parent, you're jealous of them, or you're possessive of one parent. So any of these things, right, possibly, Oedipus complex. Right. Yes. Uh. <laughs> Tick. You? You? Huh? You? You, you, you check which one, or all of them. Uh. So you, no, you. I don't. <laughs> no, I'm not close to my parents at all. No, no, no you must dig deep down. Yeah. Right? So I'm very close to my mum. So I'm Angry that my dad didn't give me a vagina. No, you're angry that uh, <laughs> no, you're, that's, you're that's jealous. Envy, that's yeah, Oedipus. this is this is different. So basically, Oedipus complex describes a child's feelings for the desire of their opposite sex parent and jealousy and anger towards the same sex parent. Mm. So you're angry with your dad because you're jealous that he takes up all the attention of your mom. You right. want all the attention of your mom. Wait, so uh, pe- nope. a penis envy is a subset of these. Uh. That one was um, introduced like by Freud's uh, <laughs> disciple Carl Jung. The second one is yeah. f***ing ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This guy is probably his disciple. No problems, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to project his problem to everybody. There, there is He's a wider to normalize himself. There is a wider concept. So all of this right was introduced in Freud's concept of the theory of psychosexual stages of development, and it gets even wilder. Okay, basically all of this right is basically saying that your <laughs> obsession and kings in adulthood is related to how you were raised as a child. Wait, so if my mom beat me as a child, then growing up, I would like to be beat. Uh. Not quite. Close. Yeah, close yeah. But close. Who shit on who? Your mom or your dad? <laughs> <laughs> based on this, I will know. Mm. So based on this uh-huh. theory is that because he liked his mom and his mom shits. <laughs> and then so he's thinking, how come he cannot shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then... Yeah. Because of no, that, but his mom shits a lot. Yeah, 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 exactly that. <laughs> his mom shits a lot, uh. so he is jealous of the shit because uh. he's wondering <laughs> why do you get to be in my mom in a non-sexual way, but I can't. Uh. And so now he wants to be shit. <laughs> all right. Okay, sounds about similar wavelength as the other one. Oh my god, you can be a thought leader. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three hundred shit. Shit. Yeah. years down the road, right? Yeah. This is the quote. Yeah. This is the Chua theory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. J dot Chua. Chua yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but BBK <laughs> episode. Shit I share the credit. I share the credit. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Daily Catch Up Podcast, and also a very happy Father's Day to all fathers. And to your father. And to the ones who don't know that they're fathers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jump <Jean> Paul. <laughs> huh? What <laughs> <I> thing? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Like this video if you haven't done so. Bye bye. Like it with your dick. <laughs> 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 wow, do I really want this like? <laughs> I just picture a bunch of people going. And you have